everyone and welcome back to Blinky Vlogs. It's Mel here and today is Monday the 18th of February 2019. I'm currently sitting at Hudak's, K yeah, Hudak's Bakery having my morning coffee which is almost half gone or more than half gone actually. And this morning I have a new support worker. Do you want to meet her? Okay. Everyone this is Caitlin. Hey Caitlin. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm not too bad. She's not too bad. She's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I try to be. She tries to be. So, Caitlin is here today because Camille is on holidays at the moment. So, we're having a little swapsy, which is awesome. I need to start getting used to having different um, people. Uh, so, that is good. And I've had Caitlin once before a very long time ago. Um, don't remember when that was but it was a long time ago um, and yeah we we're just having my morning coffee and in a little while we have to go battle the supermarket so that'll be fun all right see you later hi everyone it's Mel back again it's actually the next day um, yesterday yesterday being Monday I was supposed to go to Swish um, but I didn't because I got home from down the shops and I was just so, so tired that, I mean, all I wanted to do was just sleep. So I basically got home from down the shops, um, had a cup of tea and went to bed and subsequently spent the rest of the afternoon um, in bed yesterday afternoon reading books and... Um, talking on the telephone and things like that. But uh, now it's Tuesday. It's about uh, halfway through the afternoon, I think. About, I don't know, 3 o'clock or something. 3, 3.30 maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what the time is. Um, I'm in my room at the moment. I've just got off the phone to Lizzie, um, who some of you will know and remember from previous vlogs uh so we it's hard like you know living sometimes it's hard living so far away from all your friends because you know everyone's in melbourne and i'm up here and but that's a choice i made so um to kind of combat that i do spend quite a lot of time on the phone to my melbourne friends um, which I think is understandable. Anyway, um, I've just got off the phone to Lizzie. As you can possibly see by my hair, I washed my hair today, um, earlier. Uh, haven't really done much else today. It's been, it's been nice and quiet and lazy today. Hand up, mate. Hey, pal. What do you think? Has it been nice and quiet and lazy today? Yeah, it has. You're yawning at them, telling them that it's been nice and quiet and lazy today. Big shake. Say hi, everybody. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for Neen to come and rescue me from from scariness so earlier on this afternoon I was moving um, the cat let you go um, the cat scratching post back to out here in the living room so there it is there sitting between the CD rack and the desk but I had over on the bookshelf there, which is where the clock is. I don't know if you can see from where I'm standing. Over on the bookshelf there, I had a picture, um, you know, a, a picture in a frame over there on the bookshelf. And I went to pick up the, I don't remember what it was, some, something, some cat toy that had fallen onto the ground. And I went to pick it up and as I bent 
like to stand up again, I elbowed the bookshelf, the bookshelf wobbled and a photo frame went flying and I actually heard the smash when it landed on the floor. So of course, I'm extremely phobic of broken glass. Um, I will link my video down below um, in the description of when I was trying to pick up a glass that I had broken uh, in the sink a little while ago, uh, which is titled Blind Girl Faces Her Fears. I didn't do a very good job of it. It was downright scary. But with this one, because it's in so many, it'll probably be in so many little tiny scary pieces. And, you know, it was a picture frame, so the glass is really thin and that. I just immediately had a heart attack and panicked. And I was like, oh my God! So I'm like, who do I call that's, you know, not at work that can kind of come and help me with this? And I realized that Janine is out at Bible studies at Redcliffe's on a Tuesday. So I called her and said, on your way home, can you help? So she should be here soon to help the wuss with her broken picture frame. Should be very well contained. Oh, so, oh. But there is a lot. So it's, I was bending down to pick up the cat bowl that was on top of that little scratching post. Yes. And I've elbowed the bookshelf on my way up. Yes. And it wasn't actually the bookshelf I've elbowed, but it was the frame. Yes. So, and I heard the tinkle as soon as it landed and I went, <gasps> what do I do? So... So is your picture of you in your school uniform? Yes. And the glass is shattered on the floor. Mm. Absolutely shattered. If you... Here you are. <laughs> focus it down there, you'll see the shattered glass on the floor. <laughs> so, I can't handle this. Um, I need to... So there's a plastic bag there on the doorknob of the pantry. You can probably put it in okay. because that's a rubbish bag anyway. All right. I just need to... Oh, and it looks like fairly solid. I just want to get the rest of the glass out of, oh, out of your frame. Mm. <laughs> Without trying not to make too much noise about it. <laughs> but I'm sorry, but when I... Um, I know it's going to make noise. When I do over there, it is going to make noise. And I think that photo of me in my school uniform in grade prep is the only photo of me in my school uniform in grade prep that we've got. I think. Yes. Oh, my heart. <laughs> so I have been hiding in my bedroom. Be still my beating heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have been hiding in my bedroom ever since this happened. Oh yeah, I have one. And it's gonna stop soon from all of the <laughs> from all of the excitement. Oh gosh. <sighs> this is what happens when you live on your own and you're afraid of glass. You should have um uh, glassless frames. You can get those? Yeah. Really? Hello, you. Um, can you duck around to Nat's <clears throat> before you come home? Now Neen is in the living room cleaning up the glass while I sit here with my kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Who is purring and trying was trying to climb my stomach a second ago. Pretending like I can't hear. I've actually got two doors shut between me and where Neen's scraping up the glass with a brush and pan. So, hopefully I won't hear anything. Because this is probably actually my worst favourite, worst favourite, my worst I can't cope with part of, of the broken glass situation is the tinkle, tinkle, tinkle sound as you scrape it up into something. Hello, you're climbing my chest again. Let go of mommy's shirt. Do you want mommy to cuddle you? 
Okay, well, I'll have to stop vlogging. I just realised it's probably... Oh, hello. It's probably pitch black in here, so that we, we probably can't be seen. Safe? Any. It is. <laughs> it's all done. Would you like a cup of tea? No, I have to go home and put a rice <laughs> on because i got a whole lot of people coming for tea. Oh, funny that. Funny that. I have to make um, a cake. You probably need to wrap it in the bacon and then put it in over just to be sure. I will. But I can't see anything else. How can I you did the cat food while I was there too. Oh. <laughs> Most of the cat food. Because that was what actually caused the problem. Was the, the cat, cat knocked over the cat bowl. Mm. Spreading the food everywhere. Well, the cat bowl is now on top of the stand. Um, yeah. So there you go. What a wimp. What a wimp. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't be cleaning up glass if I didn't have 2020 vision on Because it's just too... Yeah. Dangerous. I might steal your cat stand one day. So I think Minnie needs one just like that. Because, Online. Yeah. Because um, uh, Tilly couldn't get her if she was on the top of that. No. And Tilly is getting very frustrated. That she's trying to hide from her. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Poor Tilly. And I could feed her up the top there instead of feeding her on the table, which is pretty gross. Yeah. Alright, we shall see you for tea.